What's up guys going on? It's your boy here, Ryan Rob Beats. How's everybody doing? Today, guess what today is? Today we're gonna do some screen printing. So if you guys are interested in that, stay tuned. Turn this fan on because it's freaking hot. Oh it. All right, so like I said, it's a screen printing job. Uh, we're doing a two color job. There's gonna be a reorder from, I don't know, maybe a few months ago. This is what we're doing. Let me show you guys. Let me show you guys, where is it, where is it, where is it? Oh, here. It's the uh, two color K-Soul right there. So that's one color and we're doing another one right there. That's like the frame of it. Yeah, it's gonna be a two color job. It's gonna be fun. Um, the shirts that we're doing, Show you guys here. All right, and this is the shirt. What is that? It's a Gildan dry blend. This is the 8,000, the 50-50 cotton. We got like um, small to 3X. And we have also have the women's here, which is the jerseys dry power. Uh, this, this is also a 50-50. Let's go ahead and um, register the two color. The two color. So I'm gonna do it a little differently as far as registering a two color job because, um, well, you guys know how I register, right? I put one down and then uh, I use the, um, the Pellon sheet to register, but I'm gonna do something different. Um, I know some, there's other ways of registering. So what I'm gonna do, let me turn this thing on. There it is. I'm gonna use our, um, Transparency sheet, the trans, transparency, I can't say it. Transparency sheet <laughs> to register. So we're gonna register every, every, the two, um, the two screens on top of this one. So I used, to, I did that before, I think my first time when I was starting, but um, I found it that it was easier for me to do it the other way, but we're gonna do it in this one, okay? So let's go ahead and register. If you guys are wondering, I am using the Anatol Thunder, which is Thunder, 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 right there. This is a six color, six platinum, you know, shirt making, money making device. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and register this thing. All right, let me turn off this fan real quick. Because uh, I hate to talk over, you, over that thing. So uh, let's go ahead and register it. I got my laser alignment system here. Wait, can you guys even see? Nope. There it is. All right, so I got my laser alignment system here. Let's go ahead and uh, put this where we want it to be. Four fingers down, the collar. Which is just about where that line is. Okay, I'll show you guys. There it is. Um, laser light. I'm, I'm pretty good there. Okay, so we're gonna register everything to this thing. Okay. Put this thing down. Um, so first things first, before you start registering, make sure your micros are at zero position, it'll be easier for you to be moving things around. You don't have to, but um, you know, it, it takes a little bit of time just to prep. Um, usually when I clean the press, I usually put everything back to zero, which I didn't do on this one, so my bad. Let's go ahead and put this thing to zero. Or very close to it. Let's do this. Okay, we're off. We're off a little bit. It's we're we gotta move it that way. Yeah, we gotta go that way. So let's go ahead and loosen this thing. 
pick this up, move it. Okay, that looks good. What we gotta do now is work with our mic rooms. That looks good guys, let me time this up. You know what I forgot to do? I forgot to uh, dam up the sides. All right, so that looks good. Let's go ahead and register the other one. All right, guys, we are registered. Um, looks like we are, I don't know. Um, let's go ahead and do our test print. What I'm gonna do is cover up the uh, registration here. Because I think we are right on the money, so we don't need it. We don't need it. It's a good time to also look for pinholes if there's any Usually I don't get, like 99% of the time, I don't really get any pinholes with the VPR. Um, the emulsion that I use. So I'm pretty confident, pretty confident that we're good. If you guys are wondering what mesh, I'm using a 160 mesh screens. 160, 180 is like my go-to uh, screens. All right. So, gold. So this one will be gold. Uh, this is gonna be, we're gonna be using Vegas gold. I think I still have some. I'm like really running low. So it's the International Coatings 7681 Vegas gold. Just plastic saw. I haven't used this ink in a while, so we're gonna stir it up. It's actually pretty good right now, but I will stir up your inks, guys. If you guys are picking squeegees, I like to be at least um, an inch or half an inch out from the design. I don't want to be. I don't want. I don't want to grab this. The squeegees like the same size of the artwork. Okay, that's just my preference, and that's my suggestion. good all right what we're gonna do now is mask it i know you guys are saying why why can i just put it un under the um, flash and instead of masking it the reason for that is this pedal on will shrink so you won't get a true um registration yes i could have used the shirt but um i didn't so um <laughs> i'm used to grabbing pedal on so um which is fine it's just, you know, a test to make sure that, because if this thing works, I'm a, I'll switch to this one. I mean, I've done it before, it's just different. All right, so this one's silver. Can you guys even see? Yes, you can. All right, this one's silver. I have this cool silver that I grabbed um, and put it in here because of, uh, uh, I had a, I dropped the, uh, the can the silver and the cracked. So we're gonna be using this one. So I put whatever silver I can get over here. Again, stir your inks. This is actually pretty good. It's also plastic salt. Contact here. 
just a little bit. There we go. Let me get a little more. All right. So it looks good, actually. Look at that. Looks pretty good. So that's another way of registering. Um, if you guys are looking to how to register a two-color multicolor, you can do it that way. Use your um, transparency sheets, or you can. Um, what I like to do, what I've been doing actually, is uh, printing one, get it lined up, printing one, and line everything, or yeah, line everything to that print. But this works. I think that might be a little faster too. Okay, so now we know it works. Go that way. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and turn on the heating element, which is the conveyor dryer and the flash. All right, guys, we are good to go. Uh, we're gonna start off with the oversized 2X and 3Xs. Um, I think I turned that on. Did I turn that on? Yeah, it's on. See, green light. All right, guys, we are ready to go. We're ready to go. We're ready to go. Let's do it. Alright guys, that's it. Last shirt going into the conveyor. Man, I'm sweating this hot. It's hot. It's like 98 degrees in here. Sweat. It's hot today. Uh, let's get this thing packaged up, guys. Alright guys, we are done. So here are the men's, just the design, K-Soul, 1077FM, and here's the women's, women's too. Man, it's hot. Alright, it's been a long day, I'm sweating here, um, gotta box this up. I think the customer's picking it up today, we'll see. I gotta contact them, let them know that they're done. Uh, way ahead of schedule, and one of these, well I told them I was gonna get this done Monday, Tuesday, it's Saturday, it's done come pick it up or whatever so yeah that's it thanks guys i appreciate you guys for tuning in checking out the video um if you have any other comments or questions or whatever put them down in the description below um i did show you guys another way or another way of um registering uh multi-color jobs i don't usually do it that way i usually do it the other way um if you want to know how i do it look at the other videos 
And um, yeah, like, subscribe, leave a comment below. And that's it. All right, guys. Keep grinding. Peace out.